Bible says, without a vision, the people perish. Proverbs chapter 29, verse 18. Since 2010, Catholics of the Ahira Diocese in Imo State, Nigeria, Heal's mission territory, have been perishing without a vision because they have been without a spiritual leader to guide them. After 13 years of raucous dispute and controversy among local clergy about who their next bishop should be, Pope Francis appointed last October a Claritian religious priest, Father Simeon Okezuo Nuobi, who was later installed in December as Auxiliary Bishop of the Ahira Diocese. Ahira Catholics are celebrating this historic occasion. Heal founder Rev. Leo Okonkwo says, quote, A bishop must serve the people of his diocese with compassion. With no bishop at their side for 13 years, the people have suffered great spiritual and physical hunger, just like many orphans. Heal's missionaries have filled the long-standing leadership vacuum by providing critical services at critical times. In just one example, during the COVID-19 pandemic, while schools were closed in Nigeria, Heal supplied 30 days of food relief to over 4,000 poor villagers, suffering the brutal effects of lockdowns, quarantines, and broken supply chains. After addressing the unique needs of the pandemic, Heal returned to its routine self-emptying work of educating over 400 poor and marginalized children in two K-12 village schools. In the spiritual and character formation of the students, mission-friendly local priests and the Messengers of Justice sisters have played a crucial role. But how much more would students have grown in love for God with a successor of the apostles to guide and teach them? Now that the Ahira Diocese has a new bishop, Heal is excited for the opportunities this presents. Reverend Leo says, quote, Bishop Nuobi is well aware of all that Ahira Catholics have suffered, and I'm confident he will be eager to partner with us in self-emptying compassion, unquote. While a new missionary partnership with a bishop will be of great benefit, Heal also hopes to partner with you, in working on behalf of the least of God's people. Please make your best gift to the HEAL Fund today. God bless you.